Hi, I'm Andrew Duffer, and today I'm here with Michael Eden to talk about what makes a good pair of running shoes. So Michael, how does a runner pick the right shoe for them? There's so many choices and skill levels to look for. Yeah, the technology, um, you know, material and design that goes into footwear each year um, just changes so much. Personally, as a runner, what I'm looking for is a shoe that's going to protect me while I'm out on the run in my training that feels good and fits well. I know that Brooks has cushion, energize, and speed as their categories. How do I know what shoe to start with? The cushion category is just like it sounds. It's soft, it's protective, it's there to like cushion and pad that run, um, whether you're on concrete or a treadmill. Uh, energize is a little different. It's about energy return. The foam material is different than that, and as you land, it takes that force and gives you a little bit more of it back, so it really feels like a spring. And then speed is for that person who wants a little bit of zip, you know, like they're, they're maybe trying to be competitive and they want that light and barely there kind of feel, but still gonna be there to like help push you to a better time or a, a faster speed. Now, what's the difference between a support shoe and a neutral shoe? There's a lot of differences between a support and neutral shoe, but really which one you need is gonna come down to the runner and their individual biomechanics. So a runner who's gonna need a support shoe um, we're going to see a little bit more deviation in their uh, running pattern. What that means is maybe we see some pronation, their foot and ankle collapsing inward. Maybe they have excessive knee shift inward or outward. Um, or maybe they um, just don't have very good alignment between their hips, their knees, and their ankles. All these things could add up to uh, them really benefiting from a support shoe. But why is that? Let's take a look at one of them and I'll show you. Okay, great. So this is the Levitate GTS. This is one of our energized shoes. So it's got that bounce we talked about. Um, but what makes this a support shoe are these pieces called guide rails. So here and here are these pieces that are built into the midsole of the shoe. And what they do is as the runner kind of moves through their motion pattern, um, they're there to push the runner's foot or ankle back to a more neutral position, um, basically to help cut down on that deviation we were talking about, whether it's in the foot or in the knee. And what we find is that it's all connected, really, and so a support shoe is a great piece to add to that chain to help keep it all in line. And then what about a neutral shoe? Yeah, so a neutral shoe, um, again, is going to benefit a runner that maybe we see less of that deviation. For them, hips, knees, ankles, all in alignment, and seem to move in a pretty parallel and straightforward fashion when running through their gait. And so they don't really need those built-in guide rail pieces or anything to kind of modify. Instead, a neutral shoe lets them kind of land and move naturally through their, through their gait pattern. But let me show you. So this is the Ghost 14. This is one of my favorite neutral shoes, actually. You can see that the main difference between this and that support shoe we just looked at is that along the lateral and medial side of the shoes, there are no guide rails. What that means is when your foot lands and goes through its natural strike pattern, there's nothing there to like bump it one way or the other. It's just able to move naturally yeah. as it would um, regardless of a shoe or not. I think the best thing to keep in mind is that these shoes aren't there to uh, correct or fix you, but instead complement your natural running style. So let's go beyond experience level. What if I want a shoe to be as sustainable as it is good for my run? Well, the Ghost 14 luckily is not just a good neutral shoe, it's also an excellent carbon neutral shoe. It's part of Brooks's People and Planet initiatives. It's a program to get us on the path to creating more sustainable products. So I can run with a clear mind and a clear conscience. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. That was some really great information. Now check out the rest of our videos to find out what to look for in the rest of your running gear.